A man said he found a bag containing nearly $5,000 in a parking lot. He kept it and three months later got charged with larceny. See, here's the problem. Nobody wants to be a good Samaritan anymore because if you find $5,000 of the bank's money, we're talking about the bank's money here. You walk right into that bank and tell them, hey, I found $3,000. <laughs> I found $1,500 of your money and I don't want to get any trouble. Don't worry about a reward. After all, it's only a few hundred dollars. Hey, Connecticut man, Connecticut, why am I not surprised? Said he found a bag containing nearly $5,000 in cash lying in the parking lot of a bank and kept it. But three months later, he now faces a charge of third-degree larceny. Robert Withington, 57, said he made the discovery near a bank in Trumbull, Connecticut on May 30th according to Trumbull Police Department. How many of you would have kept the money too? Keep it real. <laughs> what money? When the back door to these armored trucks fly open on the road and there's cash all over the place, that's not criminal. That's employee carelessness. If an armored guard stops to scratch his ass and puts a bag of cash down on the ground, that's not criminal. That's employee carelessness. I walked out onto the parking lot, saw something on the ground, and there was no one around, so I picked it up. Withington told the Connecticut Post, that could have been any one of us. It's not like I stole something. Withington described the moment as spontaneous, emphasizing that he didn't plan anything in advance and telling the Connecticut Post it felt like he hit the lottery. Absolutely. According to the police department's news release, Withington kept the bag, believing that he had no obligation to return the bag to his rightful owner. What do you want from the man? It was your guys that fumbled the bag. Literally fumbled the bag. He looked both ways and secured the money. He did a better job with the cash than the people that lost it. Withington heard nothing about the cash for months. What money? But behind the scenes, Trumbull police detectives were investigating the money's disappearance. And let's be honest, if you found that money, you're not going to be walking around telling everybody that you found the money. And you're definitely not going to be walking around asking a bunch of people if they lost the money either. The police department said the investigation was launched after an employee of the town's tax collector office was unable to find a bank deposit bag while making a delivery to the bank, police said the bags were clearly marked with the bank's logo and contained documents identifying the owner as the town of Trumbull. That can mean any number of things. It doesn't mean that it's stolen. <laughs> Monopoly money says Monopoly on it. I'm still going to use it to buy boardwalk. Withington told the Connecticut Post that he was clueless as to who it belonged to, what money. I just took the cash and called it a day, damn right. I don't even know whose it was because I didn't look, he said, per the local news outlet. All I saw was cash. Detectives conducted multiple interviews, obtained search warrants, and reviewed surveillance footage for months. The police department said a full investigation. Their investigation revealed that the bag had accidentally been dropped on the ground outside the bank and then picked up by Withington, the department said. You mean to tell me it took that two-horse town three months to look at the cameras? <laughs> by the time they found them, all that was left of the money was PS5s and pizza boxes. Withington was later questioned by detectives what money, during which he acknowledged his presence at the bank on May 30th and his decision to take the bag according to police. He was charged on August 25th with third-degree larceny and was released on a promise to appear in court on September 5th, 2023, my birthday. Free that man. The Associated Press said the charge is a felony punishable by up to five years in prison and up to $5,000 in fines. How ironic. But Withington strongly insists he never intended to do anything criminal, telling the Connecticut Post, I have never had a criminal record in my whole life. In my opinion, I think the worst thing that should happen is he have to pay the money back but throwing jail time at him and threatening him with jail time, I think that's a little excessive. If you really want to get to the root of what's wrong with this situation, go after the person that lost the damn money. That's your problem. He added, this is a crock of baloney. <laughs> I think it's clear that Robert is pissed now. I found money, and now it's probably going to cost me money. Welcome to America, buddy. Withington did not immediately respond. To insiders request for comment what is he really going to say that if he knew he was going to get into this much trouble over five thousand dollars he wished they would have dropped 10.